Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Service where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this training video, I want to show you how I import coordinates of points from Excel into Civil 3D and um, create contour surface. So to do just that, I'll be making use of this set of data. So you are expected to have your data tabulated on Excel the way you are seeing on the screen. It's very important you note the, your format of data tabulation on Excel. So I have my points, the eastings, the northings, the Z, which is the elevation, and the description respectively. So your data is expected to be tabulated the way you are seeing on my Excel sheet. Therefore, you are expected to remove the heading of this data so that it can be readable by the Civil 3D application. So all you have to do is to delete and you are going to have your data originally this way. Remember the points, the distance, nothings, elevation and description. When you have your data this way, you have to save as .csv, right? So you note the uh, folder you want your data to be saved under, then you come to the save as type. Then you choose csv, comma, delimited very important then you click on save so when you have saved your data the way you are seeing on the screen all you have to do is to close your excel sheets then launch into your 3d application so this application is much more easier to be used all you have to do is just to follow the procedure as i forge ahead so the software is well launched please if you're in need of this software you can join my whatsapp community and make your request so the first thing you do on your civil 3d work environment all right is to come to point above here all right and you scroll to point creation tools you click on that so when you click on that you scroll to this icon here import point you click on that all right then you come to this green plus icon here you click on that then you scroll down to the folder you can launch and navigate to the folder where you have your excel data so i have it as topo data all right so you click on open and you are going to see a green tick provided you have tabulated your data with respect to this format below so there are different formats is either you tabulate with respect to instance notings and z elevation command limited alone or other formats however the format we use is the points instance notings elevation and description comma delimited csv all right so this is the readable format there are other readable formats but based on the data as you can see below points instance notings points, elevations, then description. So this is the format that I have actually adopted. So you can choose to adopt any format, but it is recommendably, if you are working with topo data, you go with this format for easy processing of points. All right, so when you are done with that, at this stage, you click on add point to group. All right, All right. then you come here and you click on that, on this icon. So here you have to name your uh, point group so I am just going to call this training all right then you click on ok so when you are done with this you click on ok then you can cancel this therefore you are expected to have seen your points but if you can't see your points displayed on the screen you come to this icon here zoom extent then you click on that so therefore you can see the test is not well aligned and it's not well organized all right so for us to edit the test and the point size and all that, all you have to do is to come to your prospector. So if yours is not here, maybe your default is on settings, all you have to do is to come to prospector. Then under the prospector, you come to point groups. You click on that. All right, then you click on the training points group you've created. You right click, then you come to properties. Then under your properties, all you have to do is to come to this icon here so that you can change the point size. Therefore, for you to edit the point style based on your interests, if you are not okay with this point style, all you have to do is to come to this icon, you click on that, 
so there are different uh, point style of interest so let me just use this so I'm okay with this so when you check that you come here to this size options and you make it absolute units so that you can actually edit the point size all right if it is too big so I'll be going with uh, 0 0.6 all right absolute unit then you click on apply and okay all right so when you are done with that for the uh, test with respect to the point style okay you can choose to click on this and choose which of the formats you will be interested in displaying on your work environment on security so the recommendable format i'll be going with is this point hash elevation description so that all my points we have descriptions the elevations and uh, the point number respectively all right so you click on this then you come to this icon here you click on that so that you can be able to edit it so as you can see on the work environment the test tile is too big and um, it's not well organized so for you to edit that okay the first thing on the uh, component name is the point description so on your point description you come to the test height then you can edit to your test height of interest so i'll be going with 0.6 as well all right so you leave it as that you can see it has become adjusted all right so the next thing on the component name is point number the point number as well i'll make it for it to tally 0.6 and the point elevation all right i'll make that one as well 0.6 so when you are done with that okay you click on apply and okay all right so these are the basic things you have to do here then you click on apply and okay so therefore you can see that it is well organized and clear for everyone to see all right so that is how you edit your test height and the point style respectively so this is how to import coordinates of points from Excel to C4TD directly without running scripts. So you can see the default, it's readable that this uh, features here is three and um, C4TD has automatically read that as trees. So that is just the beauty of uh, C4TD. So the next thing I will show you is how to create a surface with respect to this uh, spot heights. All right, I want to create surface with respect to this uh, data. So when you are done importing the coordinate of points, all right, and editing the point size and the test height, the next thing to do is to come to surface. Therefore, on your surface, you come here, you right click, and you come to create surface, you click on that. So on your create surface, okay, you come to the name, you click on that, then you click on this icon here, all right. Then you are going to rename so i'm just going to give this topo topo one so you rename that then you click on ok all right so when you rename you will come to style all right then you click on it then you click on the icon at the end all right so here you click on this drop down shadow arrow then you scroll down to contour and triangles contours and triangles you click on that and you click on this icon here all right so when you are at this stage you scroll down to contour intervals all right then here the minor contour i'll be going with 0 0.5 for better representation 0 0.5 you edit that depending on your interest then here you are going to see the default major interval is 2.5 however i want it to be one okay so 0 0.5 minor interval and major interval one meter okay so that is the idea so when you are done editing that you minimize then you come to contour depressions then you click on that all right then here you click on this force then you make it true all right so you don't need to do anything much here then you close that then, then you click on contour smoothing all right and you scroll click on false then you click on true check true okay so when you are done at this stage all you have to do is to click on apply 
and OK. Then at this stage, you click on OK and you click on OK. All right. So the next thing is to come to surface, click on the plus sign below. Then you can see the topo one file you've created is going to appear. Then you click on the plus sign. All right. Then you scroll down. Then you click on the plus sign behind the definition. You click on that. All right. Then you scroll down to point groups. You click on that. You right click and you click on add. Okay. Please, if you have watched this video to this extent, do where to hit on the subscribe icon, then turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting tutorial freely. So at this stage, you click on the uh, training point group you created, you click on apply, and you click on OK. Therefore, you are going to see your surface created automatically on the CV3D work environment using the data you've imported from Excel all right so therefore that's not all you can choose to do some editing based on the color so for you to edit the color of the surface to differentiate the major contour from the minor contour you come on the topo right click and you click on edit surface type you click on that so here you click on display then you can scroll down to major contour you click on the color icon then I will be going with this brown for major contour. Then for the minor contour, I'll be clicking on the color icon, then a more fair yellow, then you click on OK, and here you click on apply and OK. So you can see it has actually differentiates the major contour from the minor contour. So that is how to create surface in Civil 3D. So you can just choose to see uh data in 3d dimensions in subsequent times i'm going to show you some other things you can do with the super 3d software without stress so guys that is all in the course of this video i hope you find this video helpful please for more free tutorial on this channel do it to turn on your notification bell on this channel and subscribe to keep getting free valuable tutorial on super 3d and AutoCAD software freely. See you in the next video.